opportunity to draw to a close the debate on what was known as the infrastructure bill. This is a very, very important piece of legislation. We need to get it passed through this House so that the country can get on with lifting its national prosperity. This is a debating chamber, Mr Chairman, and I do want to address some of the issues raised by opposition members. I'm bound to say that I was um, somewhat impressed with the young Green member when he spoke. He may not be so impressed when he looks at his hands out in the morning, but it seemed to me that that member's speech was a ringing indictment of nine years of failed Labor Party government. Nine years of failed Labor Party government. And I give the Green member credit for recognising that. Didn't quite express it that way, but I'm sure that in years to come, when people look at his hansard, they'll see it for exactly what it was. Criticism of nine years of failed Labor government. It's also interesting, Mr Speaker, to observe three Labor Party list members talking about housing. And we know that the Labor Party has lost it on housing. The people of New Zealand, a long time ago, gave up on them. The working people no longer see the Labor Party as their natural party of representation and certainly no longer see the Labor Party as having any sort of answers at all to the issues that New Zealand face. It was interesting to listen to this member, Ms Cipollone, trying to identify with Paula Bennett country, with the Henderson Valley, with Waitakere. Well, I have a message for that member, Mr Speaker, and that is forget it. In the Henderson Valley of Waitakere, as in other areas of Waitakere, that is Paula Bennett territory. It will remain Paula Bennett territory for one very simple reason. The people have stopped listening to the Labor Party. Just as they stopped listening in the Glen Innes, in the Glen Innes part of my constituency of Tamaki, they no longer listen because they recognise that the Labor Party no longer has the solutions to their problems. And that will be demonstrated, that will be demonstrated very, very clearly at the general election next year, where I, Ms Bennett will clearly, clearly establish and maintain and develop the dominance that she has out there in the West. Great credit to her and a great credit to this government. Mr Speaker, the development of infrastructure is essential to New Zealand if we're going to lift our national productivity and improve and expand on our, on our future economic growth and therefore on our long-term prosperity. Listening to the Labor Party, listening to the Green Party, they clearly have absolutely no interest at all in the future prosperity of New Zealand. They choose instead to cling to a few old-fashioned ideas in disarray in opposition, just as they were disarray in disarray in government. Mr Speaker, the four, the four bills that, that now make up this legislation are essential to the future of New Zealand. Let's stop the talk. Let's get down to business. Get this legislation passed so that New Zealand can move forward. <coughs> members, <coughs> members uh, this debate has concluded. <coughs> I understand that some parties wish to vote against the Affordable Housing uh, Enabling Territorial Authorities Act repeal bill, and so it is my intention to put that as one question. Order and uh, put that as one question, so we'll take the other three as one question. So the question is that the Utilities Access Bill, the Infrastructure Amendments Relating to Utilities Access Amendment Bill and the New Zealand Railway Corporation Amendment Bill be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary will say no. The ayes have it. Can I just remind members that a vote is being taken and there is silence? Thank you. The question now is that the Affordable Housing Enabling Territorial Authorities Act repeal bill be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary will say no. The ayes have it. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk to conduct a party vote. New Zealand National. Uh, 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labor. 
42 votes opposed. Green Party. Nine Act New Zealand. Four votes in favour. Māori Party. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. Members, the ayes are 68, the noes are 52. The motion is agreed to. Utilities Access Bill, third reading. Infrastructure amendments relating to Utilities Access Bill, third reading. New Zealand Railways Corporation Amendment Bill, third reading. Affordable Housing Enabling Territorial Authorities Act Repeal <coughs> Bill, third reading. Call on government.